What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natla does, from Natla Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Laura. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? My total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. Thank you. I will. Located now to St. Francis's folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiogen, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. 
Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies. But it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. Here lies Tohokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly, Tohokan. You just pulled the tough end of a wishbone. Howdy. Afternoon. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. <clears throat> well? Killer! Hey! You morons! Let's go. You coming? Steady. Here she goes. We ready yet?
You can't do this. We condemn you, Nakla of Atlantis, for your crimes, for the flagrant misuse of your powers, and for robbing us of ours. You can't, I... Breaking the free bond of consent that our people are ruled and secured under, and invading Teopan and myself with our army, our warriors, empty from our pyramid, so that you can use the pyramid. Its powers of creation for your own mindless destruction. Mindless? Look at you! Neither of you have one squirt of inventive juice in your heads. Wasters. Let's just do it. Tihokan! You use the sacramental place as a source of individual pleasure. As some freak factory. They're survivalists, a new generation. A slaughter heap now. And you. We're gonna lock you in limbo. Make your veins, heart, feet, and that diseased brain stick solid with frozen blood. Greet your eternal unrest, Natla! You won't rest either, or your damned continent! Back again. And you? For a grand reopening, I assume. Evolution's in a rut. Natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. Will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then? A kick in the pants. Those runts Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of langering wimps plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No! <laughs> Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. 